Thank you all for tuning in to Big Mama Story Time. Story Time! Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment to my page. Here we go. Hey guys, thank you all for tuning in to Big Mama Story Time on today. Today I will be reading to you guys a Nickelodeon Sunny Day Sunny's Royal Ball. All right, guys. Never heard of this, but hopefully you guys have. If not, let's get into this book. <laughs> Sunny Rocks, Blair, and Doodle were titling up the salon before their big day off. Suddenly, there was a knock at the door. It was a royal messenger. He handed Sunny a special letter from their friends, Princess Annabella and Princess Dominica. It's a... It's an invitation to the palace, Sonny exclaimed. They were going to have a royal day. The friends were zoomed to the castle in the glam van. When they arrived, the princesses greeted them with hugs. You made it, Princess Annabella said. Welcome to our home. This place is amazing, exclaimed Bear. It's so good to see you all, Princess Dominica said. We're hosting a ball tonight, Princess Annabella told them. Rox couldn't believe her ears. A royal ball with royal music and royal food and royal stuff? I'm so excited, squealed Bear. But I didn't bring anything to dance in. Princess Annabella took them upstairs to a royal closet. There were rows of beautiful gowns and matching shoes. You can wear whatever you want, she offered. The girls picked out their outfits. Doodle even got a fancy bow tie for his collar. Now we need princess hairstyles to match, said Sonny. It's glam van time. Soon everyone's hair looked elegant. Perfect, Princess Dominica told, told them. We're having a ceremony to honor our cousin, Princess Dudley, Prince Dudley, and Princess Annabella, and we like you to take part in it. Oh, that's nice of them to invite them. Just then, a soccer ball came flying through an open door of the glam van. Rocks blocked it from hitting anyone. The ball belonged to Prince Dudley, who jumped into the van to retrieve it. Out of my way, he shouted. Sonny's friend, Timmy, ran up to the van and peered in. He was Prince Dudley's driver for the day. Sonny went to get the ball. Let me help you with that, she said. A prince does not need help, Prince Dudley replied gruffly. Well, dang, okay. Later, when it was time to rehearse for the royal ceremony, Prince Dudley struggled to learn the steps in the ceremonial march. I can help, Sonny told him brightly. You can walk with me and do what I do. I don't need your help, yelled the prince. Besides, I have better things to do, like explore the woods with Timmy. He stormed off and Timmy followed Later, Sonny got a frantic call from Timmy. Prince Dully and I found an old tower, he said, and now we're locked inside it. Can you help us? They could hear the prince hold the prince's voice in the background. I don't need any help, he said. Don't worry, said Sonny. We're on our way. Sonny and her friends drove into the woods and found the tower. They spotted Timmy and Prince Dudley in the upstairs window. What are you doing here? The prince demanded. I told you I can handle this. I would have left him in that tower. Okay, you ungrateful little prince. Rox and Blair pulled on the tower door as hard as they could, but it was no use. The door was locked. Sonny tried to pick the lock with her comb, but it didn't work. This is just like my favorite fairy tale, said Blair, where the prince climbs up the tower using Rapunzel's hair. Only this time, it's the prince in the tower, said Rox, and his hair isn't very long. That gave Sonny an idea. <laughs> 
the prince may not have long hair, but we do, she said. Sonny got some hair extensions from the van. Then she and her friends wove them together to create a rope. I don't need your help, insisted Prince Dudley. I know your highness, Sonny replied, but Timmy does. Sonny made a slingshot out of some hair bands, then shot the rope toward the open window. She climbed the rope all the way up. Timmy was happy to see Sonny, but Prince Dudley still didn't want her help. Well, Prince Dudley, you can stay in that towel all you want, brother. I'm going to help my friend. I know that's right. Sonny and Timmy raced downstairs, and Sonny used her comb to unlock the door from the inside. It worked. Now they had to get to the royal ceremony. Prince Dudley refused to come down, so everyone pretended to leave without him. Suddenly, Prince Dudley ran after them. Wait, he called. He didn't want to be alone in the woods. I'm sorry. I guess I do need help with a lot. I just don't like to admit that I can't do some things by myself. Everybody needs help sometimes, said Sonny. Facts. That is true, guys. They made it back to the castle just in time for the royal ball. Would you mind walking with me? The prince asked Sonny. I could use the help. I want to make sure I get it right. Together, they marched down the aisle using the special steps she has helped him learn. Welcome, Prince Dudley, Prince Dominica announced. The royal subjects cheered loudly. See, you got to learn to ask for help. I have to learn that myself. Thank you, everyone, for all your help, Prince Dudley said, addressing the crowd. He smiled warmly at Sonny, who smiled back. Now let's start the party. The royal ball began and everyone danced. Doodle showed off his favorite moves. They were all having so much fun. They didn't want the magical night to end. Luckily, there were still some surprises in store for Sonny and her friends. Keep the dresses, Prince, Princess Annabella said. Our gift to you. And why don't you stay after the ball, Prince Dominica, Princess Dominica said. We can have a sleepover. They all agreed that it had been a perfect day off. And a royal sleepover was a great way to finish the night. All right, guys, that was the end of Sunny Day, Sunny's Royal Ball. All right, guys, thank you all for tuning in to Big Mama Storytime. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my page if you haven't done so already. All right, guys, bye.